Show me how I can help. Let's help the series. Get over here as fast Episode as you can. Five, part three. I'm on so my let's way. play it. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. I need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? You know what happened to you? scattered outwards from a single point. Ash everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or some. was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. Used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to scatter, spraying blood across the pool table. Must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off Lady Arca, but she knocked it aside. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. The butler did it. Pass 
this word reckoning. You have no idea. I'm sorry guys I've been so cool, I've just been, I've been um, so interesting, I've just uh, been, what do you call it, um, I've concentrated on what to do, so yeah. He knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Got some food. Uh, caviar. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first <laughs> signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Okay, we put on the mask. Uh, there's cameras. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. He's so gonna walk him. Speak one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Hmm. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Not there. Else to see here. Moving on. Mason Stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Yep. Hundo. Hundo. What's oh. that outside? Give me a second. They're by a Sorry? bus stop. There we go. Bus stop. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. Get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, what? it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. What is that? Ooh. Something I almost didn't get to finish because of pink. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Let's put it on. That's well obnoxious. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. Hmm. This suit is beyond state of the art. Okay, let's put it on. It looks sexy. This ends tonight. This actually looks so sexy. The suit looks so sexy though. Ooh.
sneaking into the basement. Be careful. Footprints, blood. Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Okay. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. Hmm. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Blood splatter. Hmm. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. Mm, yeah. Ooh. The wall is just a facade. Why would the veils have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. A small room. Vent. With a hole in the floor. Hmm. What is a hole in the floor? A rope ladder. <coughs> Anyone down there would be trapped. I'm going inside. What the? What is this? Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? She was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? It's why she killed the Vales. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The Vales' foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. Hmm. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. A belt. It's... Alright guys, we're going to see you next time. Goodbye.